So I guess we're going to be taking an online quiz. Which is different from regular video games. I actually really enjoy online quizzes. Even if it is bullshit. What is your preferred footwear? Sneakers? Loafers? Anything Dr. Martens? Boots? High heels? Or sandals? Is this a quiz for girls? I actually really like loafers, but, you know, I don't really wear them that often. Wait, you wouldn't know that. Never mind. I'm just gonna go with sneakers. Rate this question. It's a good question. Pick your dream kitchen. Hmm. These are some very nice choices. A is uh, pretty normal. B looks like it's a set from a film. C has a different <laughs> vibe to it. I don't know what else to call it. I was going to say rustic or maybe urban, but I don't think those are correct, actually. I don't know. When I think about my dream kitchen, I usually think about the fridge first and then the stove. D also looks like a set, but for a film that had more of a budget to it and effort. B looks like it's for a film set from, like, the 60s. E almost looks like it's futuristic, I want to say. But, again, low effort, so it's kind of bland. F is very similar to A, but the colors are different. I think I like A the most. However simple it is. I do like that plant that's on the table. So. It's a good question. Which one of these is your favorite movie? Shawshank, Kill Your Darlings, Fight Club, My Neighbor Totoro, Edward Scissorhands, or The Great Gatsby? Shawshank was... Amazing, honestly. I've never heard of Kill Your Darlings. I haven't actually seen Fight Club yet. Which I am ashamed of. Don't worry. One day. I also haven't seen Edward Scissorhands. Again. Shame on me. But My Neighbor Totoro. It's not an amazing film, but... You know. Ghibli. It's one of those things that I can definitely see watching alongside my kids. Repeatedly. So... I think I even told myself that My Neighbor Totoro is my favorite Ghibli film, so... The Great Gatsby just seems like it'd be very boring. I like Leo, but... Nah, no thanks. So I chose My Neighbor Totoro. What social media do you use to get inspired? None of them. Pinterest? I just use that to download pictures. LinkedIn, I never used that either. Tumblr, I never had one. I stopped using social media to get inspired. That's a good one. Goodreads or Instagram? I did have two Instagram accounts before, but it wasn't too long before I got tired of having them. Goodreads? Isn't that just a site where you rate books? I'm going to say that one. I stopped using it to get inspired. Good question, though. What dish would you cook for your date? Pasta, soup, a lot of soup. Okay. I think I'll order something, hot dogs, steak, or anything vegetarian. Well, that last one is definitely dependent, right? She would have to be a vegetarian if I'm going to cook it. Meanwhile, I would probably have some meat. 
I mean, that pasta looks pretty nice. It looks like uh, Zitty. Or Ziti. I'm not Italian. Sorry. Soup is the kind of thing you make for yourself when you're sick. Ordering something... Like getting takeout. Uh, that definitely sounds like something that I would do, but not for a date. Ordering takeout is what you do when you're already together, and you're living together, and you're too lazy to go out. So, hot dogs, that's something that you eat on a picnic with your kids. So, I'll go with pasta. Also, the steak is something that I would eat on my own personally or if I'm out with friends good question if given the chance which one of these items would you collect paintings antiquarian books vintage dresses vinyls marble busts or band merch definitely not that last one that doesn't sound like me vinyls I'm not that into retro stuff at least not collecting them. I do like retro music. That's the thing that I like most. Is stuff from the olden days. Like 60s to 70s rock band music. But I wouldn't collect their vinyls. I would just stream it. Again, I'm not a woman, so not dresses. I don't even know what antiquarian books are. But I am an art freak. So probably paintings... I would also consider marble busts, because I also really love uh, structures like that. Sculptures. But I think I'm definitely more of a painting guy. Good question. If you were to be hired at a fashion magazine, what would you be your job? Photographer, designer, content writer, CEO, social media manager, or stylist? Probably the photographer, because I just love taking pictures. I'm definitely not the CEO type, because I have no experience in anything whatsoever. I definitely wouldn't be the person who is making the dress, because I also don't have any experience in that. Although I wouldn't be opposed to it. I would enjoy learning, actually, I think. And sometimes I think about you know, how the dress matches a person and how the colors compare and contrast each other? Continue. Good question. You're out for a walk in your favorite park. What's the weather like? You mean, what weather would I prefer? Because if the weather is going to be sunny, then it's going to be sunny, right? It is what it is. Warm and sunny, rainy and dark, freezing cold, comfortable and mild. I'd rather stay in my room, thanks. As long as there are leaves around. Huh. I think I am more liable to pick the E option. I love my bedroom, right? I love staying indoors in general. But I do take walks a lot these days so I can lose weight. I really love the fall, autumn, so yeah, if there's leaves around, that creates a very nice aesthetic, I think. I definitely wouldn't want it to be freezing cold, because then that runs the risk of making me get a stuffed nose and a cold. I like the sunlight, but I don't like how the warmth of the sun feels on my skin. If it's rainy, my fingers are going to get all wrinkly. But I do like the dark. So. Comfortable and mild. I'm guessing that's like springtime. They chose a very nice picture for it. But I'm going to go with F. Good question. What fashion trend do you think is atrocious? Low-rise jeans, bucket hats, anything Y2K, bike shorts, padded jackets, or feathers. Is low-rise jeans that thing you do when you pull your pants down a little bit so that you can show off the brand of underwear you have? 
because that's pretty stupid. I don't even know what a bucket hat is or anything Y2K. I don't know what bike shorts are or padded jackets. Feathers? You mean like how back in the day people would put feathers in their hat? I'm just going to say low-rise jeans. Good question, I suppose. What song do you scream at the top of your lungs when drunk? Well, I don't drink. And even if I did, I don't think I would scream. You can't scream to Chopin, unfortunately. I do like Chopin. I think he's a wonderful pianist. Er, was. Someone Like You by Adele. I do like Adele. I love the song she made for Skyfall, the James Bond film. When I hear the word Wonderwall, though, I just think of George Harrison's album that he made after he left the Beatles. I don't know who Florence and the Machine is, so I also don't know their song Dog Days Are Over. And I don't know Just Like Heaven by The Cure. I know who Frank Sinatra is, but I don't think I've heard his song my way. Uh, so I'm going to go with F. Good question. What artistic field do you think you'd be good at? Literature, music, architecture, sculpture, cinema, or painting? Hmm. I want to say painting, but I really don't have that much experience in that either. I would enjoy doing it, but would I be the best at it? Or would I just be good at it? Would I just be decent at it? I thought I wanted to make music, but that was pretty short-lived. I am writing, currently, but not very much. I have Dylan is in trouble, the same problem. I can't keep going for too long. I am fascinated by architecture, but I wouldn't be good at it. And I'm very much into the idea of sculpting. Not so much making movies. I think I would rather make video games if I had the opportunity. I'll just say painting. Good question. You'd really blush if someone complimented your outfit, intelligence, humor, car, music taste, or nails. I do cut my nails pretty often. Thank you for noticing. I don't know. When I think about it, the only thing that makes me blush is when a girl says that she really likes me. It doesn't have much to do with like my appearance or my personality, but you know, everything that goes into making me who I am. I love your outfit. Hmm. Thanks. I like yours too. Dang, you're so smart. Yeah, I would blush at that. Good question. What would your vacation house look like? Okay, A is perfect. That's very peaceful, very serene. I love the woods, and it's... I think that's a house on a lake, isn't it? I think. These other options are good, too, except for D. D looks like the base motel house. And F, that makes me think it's in Hawaii, which is actually where one of my uncles lives. So that's nice. I think I'll go with A. I did see that there was basically a castle in one of them, but I don't know. Castles are a bit flamboyant. Good question. Which one of these musical instruments would you love to learn? Guitar, drums, violin, cello, trumpets, or saxophone, sorry, or the piano? I'm pretty sure the piano was, like, objectively the best instrument. Saxophones are very sexy. Drums? I do like a beat every now and again. I did have a guitar once, but then I gave it up. Again, short-lived. 
the cello? I mean, it's basically a violin, but bigger and lower pitched. And I like that. I'm gonna go with that one. Good question. Pick your favorite famous painting. Okay, well, I don't know what A is at all. I'm pretty sure C is by Jackson Pollock, and he makes garbage. E is just a self-portrait of Frida, I think. There's the birth of Aphrodite. Is D the depiction of hell by Bosch? Because that painting is pretty metal. And there's the obvious answer, the Mona Lisa. I do like the way the birth of Aphrodite looks. Hmm. But in terms of style, it's not my favorite. Hmm. Go with hell. Yeah. Good question. You wouldn't be caught dead wearing pink, watching a superhero movie, using plastic straws, working a 9-to-5 office job, parking outside lines, or procrastinating. Well, procrastinating is half my personality, so... I do watch superhero movies, if they're good. I usually use plastic straws. I do sometimes park out of the lines, but not on purpose. And I do like the idea of wearing pink. I would probably go for that, actually. I don't have any pink shirts at the moment, but... I didn't see any at the store the other day, so... Probably D. I would hate to work in an office. That sounds like the most mind-numbingly boring job I've ever created. Good question, though. You think you'd have a better life if you had more money. Knew more, had more money, had friends, lived in the woods, saw your favorite brand live, or traveled more. Now, of course, knowledge. It's great. I don't know if my life would really be better if I had more money now that I think about it. Again, that whole experience thing, it gets you places. I have enough friends. If I lived in the woods, I would probably just die. I don't really have a favorite band. Unless you count the Beatles, in which case half of them are dead. I would love to travel. But I don't think that would make my life better. At least from a different standpoint. I mean, think about it. Just going to each place on the map that I have saved as places that I would like to visit, I don't think that would make my life better. It would be one of those things that makes me happy in the moment when I finally get it done. You know, I can cross it off my bucket list. But it's just a place that I visit, and I, you know, maybe know more about that place. And the things going on inside it. But I don't think it would help me in the long run, is what I'm trying to say. So, I think I would choose more knowledge. Good question. Great question, even. Pick your dream apartment. A is pretty good. B is pretty good. C has a fireplace. What's going on with D? Is that a painting hidden behind that plant? E looks like it's in a medieval mansion. And F looks like uh, it belongs to a minimalist. Which is not me. I'll go with A. Good question. Pick your dream car. Well, great gas mileage, has AC, and 
an ox. A is the kind of car that a men in black would wear. B is a cute car. C is too expensive. D is retro. But not too retro. E has the same thing going on. And F is, you know, standard, I would say. I would choose a car that doesn't stand out from the crowd. But that car... The yellow one, that's that's a cute car. It would stand out, but I would like it. I think. F. It is also a black car, so you know, more heat. I'll go with B. Good question. What kind of flowers is usually found in your living room vase? Well. If I had a vase, I would definitely fill it with a bunch of roses. Or the flowers being shown in F. I do like pink flowers too. But I'm a rose guy at heart. Specifically, blue roses. Which I think may not actually be a thing. Good question. What's the view from the balcony of your dream apartment? Definitely not the city. Or whatever's going on in B. E is... Blink. Nope, never mind. It's just... The picture isn't taking up all the space. If I keep my blinds shut, there won't be much to see. Okay, that's funny. I mean, uh, okay, E. Surprisingly, the option wasn't there, because if it were, I would have chose mountains. Good question. What alcoholic drink do you usually ask for at the bar? I don't. That's not an option, though. If you like being new coladas. I'll probably choose that just because of that song. I don't know, man. I've never had alcohol before, so I don't even know what I like. I'll just choose brandy. Because it makes me think of what they drink in Lord of the Rings. What's your ideal first date? Sandcastles. Visiting an art museum, playing tennis, shopping for vinyls, going to an underground metal party, chatting over a cup of coffee, going out for a picnic somewhere in nature. Okay, E and F are definitely the best options. I think I would go out for a picnic later on, but chatting over a cup of coffee, you know, it's very simple. You don't, it's a... Uh, low maintenance and I think it puts us both in a better position because there's not much else going on we're just having a drink and talking it does the opposite of putting pressure on us it makes us feel more chill I think what cartoon character encapsulates your personality Spongebob Minnie Mouse Betty Boop Winnie the Pooh Tina Belcher or Daria? <laughs> I think Winnie the Pooh is pretty chill, so. I see myself in that guy. Thing is, though, is sometimes I do have a temper. And Winnie the Pooh very much does not. I think out of all of those characters, I'm probably like a mixture of Eeyore and Tigger. Because I can be pretty hyper, and I'm constantly depressed. I'll just choose Winnie. Good question. Which one of these magazines do you just subscribe to? The New Yorker, NME, Reader's Digest, Architectural Digest, The Rolling Stone, or Vogue? None of them. 
Although, technically speaking, I do submit answers to polls that Reader's Digest makes on YouTube, so... Whatever, I'll choose them. How would you like to spend the weekend if life and responsibilities didn't get in the way? Sleep all day long? Definitely sounds like me. Travel to Rome? Sounds insanely nice. Spend time with the family? Read at least three books? Attend a music festival? Or wander around the woods? If it's those kinds of woods being depicted in the photo, I would choose that. Let's do it. It's also being depicted at, like, early morning, so it's not going to be scary. I'm less likely to run into muggers, I think. Or maybe not at all, and I don't know what I'm talking about. What designer brand do you think was created for you? Roundtree and York. Oh. These are perfumes. <laughs> I'm just going to go to say Dior because it's associated with Robert Pattinson. At a loud, crowded party, you're usually hiding in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Or talking to a few friends. I would be hiding in the corner trying to keep my best friend to talk to me over there. Networking. Oh, there's dogs? I'll pet the dogs. Whenever you feel homesick, you cook my grandmother's signature dish. Oddly enough, my grandma does not have one. Unless you want to count frozen dinners that we get from the store. Call my family, play the ukulele, light up some candles, read my all time favorite children's book, or cry. <laughs> Hey, you gotta hurt before you can heal. And crying is a good way to do that. But I don't know. It's just, you know, being homesick. I don't know if I would really cry about that. Hmm. I think calling my family would probably be the most uh, logical answer, for lack of a better word. Just give them a quick call, ask them how things are, tell them, hey, I miss you guys. So I just felt like talking to you for a little bit. And then you hang up, and you continue playing your video games. Right? Does that sound good? Bree, good question. If given the chance, which one of these Ivy League universities would you attend? Brown, Princeton, Harvard, Yale, Cornell, or Columbia? Well, obviously, these universities are reserved for smart people, so I wouldn't choose any of them. But I'll go ahead and say Princeton, because I think it has the best name. I don't know what that tells you about me, but take it for what you will. Pick a tablecloth. <laughs> okay. A is pretty standard. You always see those tablecloths at like uh, cookouts and picnics. B is a little bit more fancy. Although it does scream grandma. C has blue in it, so I'd probably choose that. D looks like the kind of tablecloth that you would save for an event, like Valentine's Day. E is literally just a white sheet. And F, who even uses tablecloths anymore? That's a good question. Because, think of it this way. If you don't have a tablecloth, then if somebody spills a drink, then you don't have to worry about cleaning up much. Because it just wipes off. Right? You don't have to worry about putting the tablecloth in the washer with a, some kind of special um, type of soap, right? So I'm going to choose that. Pick your favorite book. The Alchemist by Paul Kulo. 
Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Less Than Zero by Brett Easton Ellis, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, For Whom the Bells Toll by Ernest Hemingway, or Anne of Green Gables by L. M. Montgomery. Frankenstein is the one that I only know, so... I do know Pride and Prejudice, but I don't think it's for me. I do know who Ernest Hemingway is, but I've never read his stuff, so I don't know if I like it. What's your favorite thing to do during Christmas? Watching those Christmas specials. And drinking hot chocolate. Wrapping gifts, buying gifts, watching Christmas movies, cooking, decorating the tree, or building a snowman. Well, unfortunately for me, I never had the option of building a snowman because I live in the South. But it does look very fun. I guess watching Christmas movies. It's half of what I just said. How do you spend your free time? Sleeping. I go to the gym. I play sports. I go antiques hunting. I tend to my garden. I listen to music. I overthink the trans science of human existence. Hmm. <laughs> Probably F. Because all these other options actually sound like something productive. I would go to a gym, but they all seem to be bad. In high school, you were the dumb one. The jock, the nerd, the goth, the theater kid, the popular kid, or the band kid. I was in a music class for my senior year. I definitely wasn't the jock. I'm not strong. I wasn't the nerd, because I'm not smart. <sighs> I wasn't goth either, even though I am depressed. I wasn't a theater kid because I don't know how to act. I wasn't popular. People knew my name, but nobody was seeing me and immediately being like, Oh my gosh, how are you? That wasn't me. So probably band kid. Which one of these pictures speaks to you? Now this ought to be fun. A sink with flowers in it, a cathedral roof, a yacht going in circles, a flower basket, spider web with water droplets, or the outside of an airplane. I am attracted to the sea, which is weird to say because I'm also afraid of it. I'm afraid of what's in the ocean, you know, going beneath it, but the surface level, awesome. The sink with the flowers in it just looks sad. I'll go with... E, actually. That looks like a very nice screensaver. What's your preferred genre of music? Pop rock. Punk, softcore rocks, country, classical, indie alternative, or folk? I guess softcore rock is closest to what I said. And I'm like everybody else who does not like country. It's honestly annoying. It's the one thing that I force myself to tolerate anytime I go to Longhorn. Classical music I absolutely love. Indie or alternative, I still am not quite sure what that means. Even when I listen to it, I just think to myself, wow, this sounds like everything else. And if Simon and Garfunkel, you know, tell me all there is to know about folk music, then that's also pretty good. I like that a lot. But I'll go softcore rock. What's your favorite TV series? Uh... Dickinson, Skins, Downtown Abbey, Penny Dreadful, Friends, or Suits?
I'll just say suits. I think it's a business drama or something? I don't know. Your day-to-day -day outfit usually consists of boring shirt, boring shorts, boring shoes. It doesn't matter as long as it's all black. As long as it's comfortable, anything. Yes. That sounds like the answer I would give. What calms you down after a long, exhausting day? Sleeping. Yoga, music, books, my family, my cats, or my plants. I would probably choose my cats. Not that I have any right now, but that sounds like a good way to spend my time. Got a cat in my lap, just petting it constantly. Sitting on the couch. And we're watching something. Oh, now the quiz is complete. How many questions was it? 42? Normcore. Your personal aesthetic is normcore. You couldn't be bothered trying to fit into some superficial definitions or categories. Instead, you take pleasure and pride in projecting an image of a perfectly normal average person. In the best sense of the definition. You're pretty low maintenance when it comes to your wardrobe and don't turn your nose up at popular sitcoms or in rom-coms. You simply enjoy going with the flow, dedicating your time and energy to something more important than appearances. Yeah, that sounds like me. But I don't turn my nose up at popular sitcoms and rom-coms. I don't know, man. Some rom-coms and sitcoms I'm definitely not a fan of. Especially if the sitcom has a laugh track. I hate those. Okay. Well, it mostly got me right, so... I'll go ahead and put the link to this quiz in the comments. So you can play for yourself. Tell me what you got. I'm going to try and go to sleep now.